happy year of the dragon, everyone. I'm in Fudan again. I'm in the city of Quanzhou, which was recommended to me by a ton of subscribers on Billy Billy, and you guys were right. It is everything you hyped it up to be and more. It is absolutely wild. The Chinese New Year spirit here is off the chain. And you may be wondering, what is this mysterious creature behind me? Despite the fact that it's Year of the Dragon, the main attraction here is actually a giant turtle made out of rice. We'll get to that in a second. First, I have to introduce today's special guests who are from China's western frontier, Kashgar, Xinjiang, which is over 4,000 kilometers away. This is Asa Dan. He was a great tour guide when I was visiting Xinjiang, so now I will try and return the favor here, even though I'm not from Fujian. And this is Mehmeti, which is Asa Dan's best friend, and they are traveling in East China together for the first time. So let's do some exploring. Okay, back to the turtle. <laughs> Check this out. Coolest find of the day so far. Gigantic turtle with a bag over its head like it's about to be kidnapped and it's made out of bags of rice. The turtle has a whole arena dedicated to it and everyone is gathering on the edges viewing the turtle. Oh, so starting tomorrow, you can actually go up on this platform and touch the turtle for good blessings, but unfortunately I'm only in this part of Trenjo today, so I have missed out on my chance to touch the turtle, but I'm admiring the turtle with my eyes for sure. It is definitely a sight to see. And the turtle's face will only be revealed when the time is ripe. And exactly how they determine that, I'm not really sure, but the time is not ripe now, and that's why the turtle looks like it was kidnapped. It's got this red thing over its head. But at some point in the next few days, someone is going to come and lift it off and reveal the turtle's face to everybody. And if you thought this place didn't get any wilder, there are two dragons guarding the turtle here that are made out of pineapples. So we've got this fruit and vegetable dragon in front guarding the turtle made out of rice bags. You can't make this stuff up, people. So yeah, saying I'm obsessed with Trenzhou during Chinese New Year is a bit of an understatement. But there's much more than just the turtle and pineapple dragons. Let's head away from the rice turtle compound and see what else is waiting for us in Trenzhou. <笑>他们在烧钱哇塞这么多钱哇塞这么多钱看这个乌龟是假的当然是假的我不我都 <laughs> One of the few types of shops that are still open, the Chinese New Year decoration shops. They are selling things down to the last millisecond. It is the ninth right now, which is Chinese New Year Eve. For those of you who are last minute buyers, these places are open. So come and get your decorations. Even though most of the brick and mortar stores are closed, there is still an abundance of carts. If you're in the right place, that is. Actually, in most parts of the city, the streets feel like a ghost town. All the shops are closed, there's nobody out. Everyone is back home for the new year, but not here. So like a love. In this tiny little alleyway in Quanzhou, they found a Uyghur guy selling raisins. <laughs> 
Okay. So as you can see, as soon as you step out of this market street, everything is closed. Everything is closed. Oh, except that guy. You <laughs> found <笑>这是不是你第一次看到这么多红色的东西对第一次第二代又往前看好贵眼睛都眼睛花了是吧对什么感觉喜不喜欢喜欢喜欢好玩好在长安那些地方把那个干了你不干他给你走了卡拉
all these little snacks and things out of their backpack. Like whatever they just happen to have on them, they'll just drop it on that table. Instead of having like a perfect stack of oranges here and a perfect stack of dragon fruits there, it's like all the random snacks. Snacks on the offering table is a year round occurrence, but because today is a holiday, there are also a bunch of other unique items being brought in as well. Today is Chinese New Year's Eve and everyone is bringing in baskets and bags full of offerings. The baskets and bags have a few items that almost everyone has brought like the yoga chicken we saw earlier, the chicken doing the funky pose, a thing with things coming out of it. I'm sorry, I don't know how to call this thing. Symbolism is super important here and every single thing they're setting out has some sort of meaning behind it. It would take me ages to get the explanation for every single thing, but I did ask about a few of them at a little market right below this temple where they're selling things to be put on the offering table. There's a market out here to buy all of the offering items. And you may be wondering what happens to them after they're done being offered. When you're selecting offerings to give, you should also consider which things you like to eat because you get to eat it afterward. There's no one set way to celebrate Chinese New Year, and a lot of people also use this opportunity to honor their ancestors, as we saw earlier with the lady burning money on the street. Exactly what they leave for the ancestors on the offering table is a little bit different than what we just saw at this temple. We were very lucky to encounter this friendly lady in an alleyway who let us see what her ancestors are eating for lunch. Check this out. She cooked a whole meal for the ancestors back here. So I'm used to seeing people leaving things like fruit or candies or little snacks, but she cooked a full meal for the ancestors. Wow, there's this one. There's a little bit of a this little house has been turned into like a whole tourist attraction by us outsiders passing by and being like, wow, what is going on? Look at that, there's more people outside now. Like, whoa, what's going on in there? Bye bye, long nian da ji. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are still walking. We are going, keep going, walk. Let's go, everybody. Christianity. Guys, it's February. The Christmas tree's gotta go. I love the Christmas vibe as much as anyone, but come on, it's February. There really are two categories of places in Quanzhou during Chinese New Year season. Category one, quiet as death, no one around. Category two, complete chaos, people everywhere. It's one or the other. Check out these trees. It's like something from an alien planet. Love these trees.
那这样会不会吸收你租现该赚到的钱呢？<笑>那 for today, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the Quanzhou Chinese New Year experience. Now the streets are getting quiet again, and it's because everybody is going to have their Chinese New Year dinner. So it's time for us to find a place to have dinner too, which is going to be hard because everything's closed. But I'm sure there's something out there somewhere, and we're going to go hunt for it. And in the next video, we are going to be getting on our bicycles and exploring some of rural Quanzhou. So stay tuned. See you next time. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs>